Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. 1 Thessalonians 3, and I want to look at verse 4. 1 Thessalonians 3 and verse 4. It says, For indeed when we were with you, we kept telling you in advance that we were going to suffer affliction, just as it happened and as you know. I chose this verse because I feel like too often we get caught up in saying, where did that come from? Or why did this happen? Or, you know, what, you know, what, why is this happening to me? Why, why, if I've given myself over to God, do I go through these temptations? Do I go through these trials? Why do people get upset with me? Why, why does this happen? But we're told time and again through the scriptures, through the word of God, by the mouth of Jesus, that followers of his are going to be persecuted, are going to suffer in his name, or are going to, to be left. That, that those who follow him are going to have a house divided, mother against father, father against, or mother against daughter, father against son. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. It's just the, the list goes on. And, and yet we continuously act surprised when these things happen, when the trials and persecutions happen, when, when people do not agree with us and it causes uh, heartache and trouble in our lives. That, well, why? Well, because we're following God. Because we are, though we are in the world, we're not of the world. We're of the Lord. We're in Christ. Christ is in us. We live differently. And therefore, these things are going to happen. And that's what Paul says here. He says, you know, we told you beforehand, and we warned you of these afflictions that were going to come upon us, and they happened just as we said they would. Um, and, of course, he says he sends Timothy to, to find out how their faith is, and he's very encouraged that they, they weren't really actually caught out of shock. They, they wanted to visit them. They wanted to be visited. They wanted to, to hear how they were doing. They, they were encouraged by their faith. And so good came out of this. But too often, I believe, today we get caught up getting caught off guard when we shouldn't be off guard because we were warned as we study the Word of God, we're warned of these things that are to come. And so let us be ready. Let us always be ready, right, to give a defense for our faith, for our hope, to give an answer. And so let us sanctify God in our hearts today so that we're ready for when those times come. Don't let us be caught off guard. I want to thank you for joining me. Today is Sunday. If you're able to join us uh, here at Westside, Bible class starts at 930. Worship service starts at 1030. And our evening service at 5 p.m. So if uh, the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.